So I sent this video with some weird ideas about oil in South Africa, but let's check it out. South Africa has a lot of oil and gas, and the whole world knows it. But wait, DMRE has data on this and how much oil and gas we have. And sure, we're doing lots of exploration, which by the way is often not even South African companies doing it. It's like Total, which is a French company. But even then, the amount of oil they found, I think, is less than what we need for even one year in South Africa. And the gas, cool, but we need gas for our own demands. We don't really have the stuff we need to do mass exporting. And the second thing, everyone knows it? engage in international media like once in your life because they don't talk about oh these amazing oil nations which are unexploited like south africa no of course they don't they talk about angola they talk about nigeria they talk about the middle east they talk about russia we are not looked at as an oil nation and it's probably not a bad thing because the oil industry is on its way out like Cool, you can make a whole bunch of money for 10, 20, maybe even 30 years in oil. But there's a lot of future industries that like hydrogen, where you use solar energy and turn water into hydrogen, which is a fuel we can export. And all you need is like water from a sea and a desert. And it's not like we have a giant desert in our country or anything. And to undervalue what South Africa has when it comes to oil, gas, and many other minerals in a country. We don't value our other minerals? You were talking about the world knows it about South Africa. If you talk about when people talk about South Africa's economy, they talk about platinum group metals, which we export, you know, chrome, platinum, palladium, stuff like that. They talk about our gold. It's like almost like one of our biggest cities. What's it called? Johannesburg? What's this? Goli place of what? Place of gold? Dude, like our entire economy was built on mineral extraction. We know the value of our minerals. We've built our economy off of it. In a country that has so much poverty, and our economic growth is stuck. Okay, but let, let's talk again. So now you're talking about an oil and gas industry, which there's just, there is, it, 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 there's not the oil and gas, okay? So you, you, you're on the wrong foot to begin with. And then the second problem now is you're saying alleviate poverty. Well, what does poverty look like in Nigeria? What does poverty look like in Angola, these big oil countries, right? Cool, their capital cities look great. Their oil export cities look great. But the moment you go anyway, that money isn't going down to people. It's staying in the hands of a few billionaires. Ah, it just doesn't add up, man. And our economic growth is stuck. We need to be focusing on our oil and gas. Also, the, the, the thing that we need to focus on oil and gas, man, we need to focus on electricity and the easiest way to get electricity today. For oil and gas, we need to go find it first. We can't get this stuff within a decade. And we need to solve load shedding now and that'll solve our growth. And how do we do that? We fix our existing power plants, one. We fix our grid and renewables and maybe hydrogen, if you want to talk about an export. Like, the whole of Europe is like, we will give you money to sell us hydrogen. And that's not a 10, 20, 30 year industry based on something we have to find underground. That's solar panels in a desert taking seawater and making hydrogen. That's a forever industry. On our oil and gas, vote for a government that is capable of bringing prosperity to South Africa. Vote Arise South Africa. So dramatic. So who is this even? Who is Arise SA? Because that it sounds very similar to another party's name. I must say it's it's almost like that's on the nose bit. But let, let let's have a look at your website for a second. So like, what have you guys done? Who are you? Okay. Okay. Your about us doesn't say who you are. I don't see your name anywhere. Like, who's the dude in the video? I've never seen him before. Man. Business breakfast. But the only things you've done is business breakfast. So you're saying to me that you are a political party that I've never heard of that sounds very similar to another political party, which seems, which is a bit bigger than you. All you've done is business breakfast, and now you're pretending we have oil and gas. My man, are you, who's paying you? 